So what is going on guys, it's Triple G here back with another Borderlands 3 video and today is our monthly update. Now I know we've missed a month or two, however there is a ton of information in this video about what's to come in the coming weeks for Borderlands 3 and a summary of what has happened in the last few weeks. Guys if you enjoy this video please consider subscribing to the channel or join us over on Twitch we stream 5 times a week and otherwise it's strange this video. So let's talk about the current state of Borderlands 3 and what's happening. And the first thing that we're going to talk about is the True Trial event. The True Trials event have added raid boss level bosses at the end of each proving round. So take the normal boss that was usually there and they have given him like 4 billion health. And in addition to that, they have made him give him specific drops. So week to week, you will see one base game and one DLC item drop from this boss, including the flipper and the KOs. And we've seen sickles in there. So there's some really, really good pieces of loot in there and it gives you something a bit different on the way leading up to our next event, which is, of course, the cartels. So the cartels will return on the 24th of June. We will definitely be getting new cosmetics. However, there has been no mention about any other changes right now. Fingers crossed that once it's in the game, it will stay there this time. I cannot wait to get my hands on a new fish lab on a new OPQ. The no pew pew was great as well so this is a favorite community event and this returns again like i said on the 24th of june so look out for that if you haven't logged on to borderlands 3 for the last few weeks you might not know that we can actually re-roll anointments now yes those pesky anointments can be rolled so that you won't have to farm as much however there is an associated cost for that of 250 iridian and in my opinion the balance of currency isn't quite right for that just yet, as well as the amount of anointments that are in this game. So I think that still needs addressing. But yes, you can actually re-roll your anointments on your weapons. In addition to that, there is also the Maurice Black Market vendor machine that resets every Thursday. And this will have random items in it with rolls. And every 30 minutes, you can go back to it and see what it has again. Now, last week was the light show and that was fantastic so it can have some really really good stuff in there there has also been some other news that's happened outside of the borderlands 3 newsreel and that is that due to the reporting that the gaming developers gearbox and 2k have had to do they've had to divulge that there will be a new game in the new fiscal year and what that means is before the next time we get round to april we'll be seeing a new game. Now, I highly doubt that it will be a Borderlands 4 given the short period of time and the fact that Borderlands 3 is only 18 months, but who knows what type of game that we will see. And they have said they want it to be a franchise in its own right. I am super excited to find out what this is. Is it a spin-off? Is it a small game? You know, we just don't know at this stage. But what I do know is that it is good for the strength of the Borderlands franchise. Then while all this stuff is going on in the gaming world, there is also the movie news. Now, I know there's a lot of reservations about the actors and actresses that have been cast for the movie, but there is no doubt if you follow the social media side of the Borderlands franchise, you know, you follow Randy and some of the other social media platforms, you will know that the hype is starting to crank up for this movie. The actors and actresses are tweeting out regularly with little snippets of exactly what they are looking like and what the the kind of props they're using as well still no date on the movie yet but what we can say is that they are going full all in on it so whether or not it's a good movie who knows but they are definitely gone a full send on this movie finally we've touched on these a couple already but what i would like to see is a couple of changes in borderlands 3 we already did an exercise a few weeks ago which addressed the anointment pool the anointment pool for weapons currently sits at 72 anointments which in my opinion is way too much so we did an exercise and submitted it to gearbox that said we could get this down to 30 and the player base would be very happy with that and we would also you know then when we're re-rolling wouldn't have too many options to deal with the second thing i would like to see change is maurice's vending machine now maurice's vending machine can have good items in there however what i personally would like to see is one event item one mayhem exclusive item and then one random item in this machine at the moment if you've got meta weapons you have no real reason to go back 
to that Maurice's vending machine. So whilst it is good for playthroughs and the casual player, the hardcore player doesn't need it. Now what I would like to see is these special event items like the gas call or the cartel weapons, just one per week, just rotating in there. And then if you miss that event a couple of months ago or can't wait for the next event, you are able to get it and it gives and incentivized players to go and hunt this thing so there you have it guys that is it for this monthly update if you have enjoyed this video please consider subscribing to the channel or join us over on twitch we stream five times a week and otherwise i'll catch you on the flip